in the second part of the instant foreign improvement series, we're going to talk about the preparation of the swing and the actual swing up to contact and through contact. Now, if you haven't watched the last video, I highly recommend you pause this video, take a look at the previous video first, because it gives you a great idea of a good foundation of how to be ready and how to read what's coming in from the other side to help you improve your forehand even more. But if you've watched the video, let's go ahead and jump right into it. Now, these five tips are gonna be guaranteed to level up your forehand even more. The first thing is making sure you create space with your non-dominant hand. So what I see a lot of players is they're loading the racket, but their non-dominant hand ends up down here, and it's just, it, it's a recipe for getting too close to the ball. So instead, use your non-dominant hand, so left hand if you're righty, right hand if you're lefty, to create some space. And watch what that looks like. So we talked about the ready position, the grip, the split step, the first move and the anticipation in the last video. So let's build on that and do this, but now we're gonna actually make sure that once we actually split, turn, and make our first move, we're gonna use our left hand to create space. So watch, create some space, because I wanna be able to extend my arm, or at least be close to extension when I'm making contact. I can't do that, and I can't use my body as much if I'm too close to that ball. So you need space to be able to do this, really extend through contact, and have more power and the ability to generate spin on your shot. The second tip is having a C swing. And what does that mean? Now, C swing just means I'm actually, my swing looks like a C. So see the C that I'm drawing in the air? That's a backward C from my perspective, but it's a C swing from your perspective. Now, why is that swing a good swing? Because it allows me to be efficient with my motion. I can keep my racket in continuous motion, allowing me to gain more racket speed and effortless power. Now, a few caveats to that is, make sure you, you have your hand, your dominant hand here on the racket, does not go above your shoulder. Now you see Del Potro has a very high take back, and sure, he has one of the best forehands ever, but it also takes a longer amount of time to properly square it up. So unless you're a high level player, I would recommend you keep your hand, and by the way, even if you are a high level player, I would still recommend the same thing, that you keep your dominant hand at about chest or shoulder height when you do your swing. So C swing, keep your, your hand at about chest or shoulder height before you go ahead and drop it. Now, if you wanna level up your game and your top spin even more, make sure to check out the Top Spin Pro. The best way, aside from subscribing to this channel, to level up your game. Now this is gonna help you learn top spin in a matter of days and weeks instead of years. So super helpful tool. Check out the link in the description below. I, I really appreciate it if you use my link. I get a small commission, but you get the main benefit of leveling up your forehand and your backhand like never before. But after we talk about the C swing, we also have to talk about where our racket has to go to in order for us to make better contact. So let's get into tip number three. All right, tip number three is actually making sure you drop your racket below the ball. So it sounds simple, but you'd be surprised how many players make the mistake of they're doing all things correctly, but they're not dropping the racket properly because they're rushed. So again, watch the first video to make sure we prepare early so we're not rushed and we're swinging actually like high to low, but we have enough time to, tr to properly drop the racket below the ball. Now, being able to drop it below the ball is not good enough yet. So let me give you a few little tips that are gonna help you improve your contact and actually allow you to generate more top spin. And the first thing is you wanna try and make sure that your strings are facing down when you drop it. So I'm gonna show you from a backwards perspective here. When you are dropping the racket, you wanna make sure that your strings are facing down because we wanna try and swing low to high. And what happens if my racket is more here, a lot of times when I'm swinging up to contact, the strings will face up and this will happen. The ball will go to the ceiling. So I'm gonna show you from a sideways perspective. When my strings are facing more to the side than the ground, a lot of times players will swing up with what we call an open racket face or a racket face where the strings are pointing upwards. So once again, when you drop your racket, strings down, and now it helps us to square up and basically face the net at contact to help us actually generate 
from spinning. And this, this is again where that top spin pro is super handy because it shows you the proper angle at which you want to try and swing at the ball. So you want to try and swing at the ball from a low to high angle. So, and you want to try to make sure that your rack is really going up. Easy way to remember that is you want to try and hit the belly of the ball. So hit the underside of the ball with the top edge of your racket. So visualize this and try to, again, swing at the ball with the top edge of your racket. What actually happens, or what should happen when you're trying to do that, is this. You're swinging up and you're generating spin. Now you can see that that ball's spinning nice and fast because I'm able to keep my rack face closed first and my strings are facing forward at contact. And then I wanna make sure really emphasizing that low to high swing, which is going to be tip number four. And I should add actually tip 3.5, get a top spin pro, it's an amazing investment. But first, hit like and subscribe. Think about it like this, the more you swing up, the more spin you're able to generate. Now if you don't believe that, just take a look at Rafa, he's known for his buggy whip, right? And think about how much he swings up and how much spin he's able to generate with that. So, C swing plus getting under that ball allows us to swing up to generate more spin. Now let's talk about the proper extension through contact. So we talked about the low to high part, but we wanna also make sure we extend through contact. And what I want you to do is I want you to try to keep your elbow on the same side of your body a little bit longer. So watch, idea is basically throw your hand out towards contact and then we eventually bend that elbow. The mistake that I see a lot of times club players make is they bend their elbow to suit and they're hugging their body. What that does is it makes you miss hit the ball a whole lot more because here I'm swinging through contact, really getting, getting that extension through contact to help me make better contact, get more power, and the ability to generate more spin, which I'll explain in a second, but when we do this, we just end up missing too many shots and we lose control of that. So keep your elbow on the same side of your body and then we let that elbow bend instead of letting the elbow bend too early. The reason why that is so important, the extension allows us to really promote a good contact point for us out in front and then allow, allows our wrist to properly pronate to generate more spin. If we're in this perspective, we really don't have any ability to probably pronate our wrist and get that spin. So I'm gonna show you again from, a, from this perspective, we're doing this, very hard to, to get that shape because our wrist is unable to move as much as we need it to. So those are four amazing tips. Now let me give you a fifth one that's gonna improve your timing of how to put it all together. And this part is probably the most important thing when we try to actually add it all up. All right, tip number five, is the actual timing. So in the first video, we talked about the ready position, the grip, the split step, the anticipation, and the first move. Again, if you haven't watched it, I'll leave a link down in the description below. Make sure to check it out if you have not done so. Then we talked about creating space, having that C swing, getting below the ball, and swinging up with extension. Now let's talk about the timing of when we actually put it together. All right. So once we have it, we split, turn, create space with our non-dominant hands, have that C swing, and we move, we move, we move until we're setting, and then we begin to accelerate. So we wanna keep our feet in motion until we are ready to set our feet and accelerate. So move, 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 set, accelerate. The reason why that part is important is because A, we wanna use the maximum amount of time we have to actually between our opponent's contact and our contact. So use all that time to get in the best possible position. The second reason is if we wait for that ball, so if we're kind of waiting for that ball and we're not moving, we tend to tense up, allowing us to be less fluid and efficient with our motion. And we typically don't get as much power or spin because we're stiff and not smooth. So once again, Split, turn, load, create space with our non-dominant arm, move, 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 set, and then accelerate. So we put all the pieces of the puzzle together from the ready position, the grip, the split set, the anticipation, the first move, the creating space, having the C swing, dropping the racket below, swinging up with extension, and making sure that we move, move, move until we're ready to actually accelerate 
and start swinging. If you follow all those 10 tips, you are going to immediately almost improve your forehand. Now, when I say immediately, you have to give yourself at least a little bit of time for those tips to make sense to your game, apply them to your game, and use them. But once you have, once you do them correctly, no doubt you're gonna hit a much better forehand. So make sure to smash the like and subscribe button because I know you're gonna gain value from these tips. Now, I'll see you in the next coaching video. Thanks again for watching.